So currently, there is a lot of talk about rolling back the golf ball. They say that people are hitting the golf ball too far, and if we were to make it a little bit smaller, it would bring back a little bit more of the way golf was meant to be played, let's say. In this video today, We've got a 2020 Pro V1, and we've also got a 1975 Dunlop 65. Old ball versus new ball, and I've also brought with me Mr. Peter Finch, who hits it a little bit further than me. So you, sir, are going to be playing with the old golf ball for two holes. We're going to play two holes me using the new golf ball and Pete using the old golf ball and then we're going to swap over I'm going to play with the old golf ball Pete's going to play with the new golf ball and see what the difference is does Pete even with his extra distance does it actually affect him as much and also with us being down at Formby Ladies Golf Club the rough's quite punishing so will that play a factor as well no, not now mate not now I so Comment down below, do you think it's going to have a major effect? Also, on the final hole, we're going to have a two ball long drive competition with the old golf ball and see who is the longest. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. Pete, I'm going to let you have the honour with the old golf ball. Dunlop 65 driver. Dunlop 65 versus driver. <laughs> yeah, versus driver. Let's see how it goes. Enjoy. We'll play a stroke play on this one. Oh, wow. Na now you're saying stroke play. Hey, you know. Wow. Tune has been changed somewhat. Well, listen, we've been filming a bit today. I kind of know the capability of this golf ball a bit more now. Yeah. And actually, I was surprised at how normal it performed in many respects. Mm. Well, you know, considering how old it is. Now, I almost hit it on the screen the other day. It's 307. It's a little bit of a tricky one. Just requires a bit of a fade. Let's it's see. Beautiful sky. It's gorgeous out here at Formby Ladies tonight. You can't Pleasure. be inspired to it a decent drive. Pleasure to play. Please. Just into the rough there. Goes too straight. Goes too straight, goes. I would say, judging by where that is, that's about 40 shorter than your, your other one when you smoked it the other day. No, I don't think so. Okay, no. we'll see. You're wrong, Matt. <laughs> All right, come on then, Fry, here with your fancy pants new golf ball. This Miss is a 2020 Pro V1. Now, I don't want to recall the shots from uh, the vlog that we did shoot over here. It's actually just gone live. I wonder if many people have commented on that. <laughs> you uh, know what? Array of madness. I, I had completely forgotten about that. <laughs> if you've not watched that video, go check it out now. Fry's driving performance on this hole was little short of epic. <laughs> not today though. That's a great looking shot. I can just hear you chuntering in the background then. I'll That's put, nice. I'll put. I'd, I'll put an end to it. It's probably pin eye, I'd say. Is it up on the slope? It, it kind of kicked left and down the slope. It's in the semi. Okay. But great strike. Let's go and see where we are. Really good. Right then, so Peter, we've got yours. Hey. And we can just see up ahead. I zoom up to my bag. That's where I finished. So that's what, 30 in front? Would you say? 25, 30? Yeah, about 25. Probably. Pretty much both landed in rough. So there's a difference already. But if I were to use the the ball I'd be probably 15 back of this. <laughs> I'd be in the fairway. <laughs> get me the other ball. Um, it's sat a bit weird. I'm just going to get a lob wedge and... 60 to the front. Try and get it up there a bit. 60 to the front? Yeah. I'm going to play this for about a 70 shot, I think. Oh, yeah, it's just... It was lying just so weird. Not ideal out of that rough it was tough out of there yeah it, it had just one of these branches kind of like grown into the back of it oh lovely i should have i should have tried to play a long chip and run stupid choice of shot really it's my own fault no one else to blame yeah you're a little bit further up the hill pretty much pin eye really yeah and i'm in the rough so we're not really going to see too much difference in terms of control but distance there is a factor the big thing for me on like this argument is 
if we both use the same ball, it's not as if, let's say, Rory McIlroy and Zach Johnson are playing together. Zach Johnson doesn't become the same length now as Rory. The guys who are hitting it long have still got the advantage. Mm -hmm. So, be interesting to see how this fares. Similar to you, sat down, clumping, after almost play it like a bit of a stabby bunker shot. Yeah. like that oh not too displeased with that out of that clag yeah, I was towing the edge of destruction there okay so we're up on the green Pete's gonna be playing in he's got 20 yards up to the front of the green It'd be interesting to see how this ball reacts when we've hit wedges in earlier they were spinning or stopping very quickly a lot of bite on them Just ran on there, probably a little bit too close to generate any real sort of spin, but oof, head off. Yeah, nothing there, nothing to do with the ball there, that was just a terrible, terrible technique. I knew exactly where I wanted to land it, knew exactly how I wanted to hit it, and did neither of those things, so... Can't really be mad. No, I can't really be too disappointed in the, uh, the old 65. Fryer here, put for birdie and an instant win. Two putts may do it for him. Playing stroke play, Peter. Very true, completely forgot about that. Well, if it's stroke play, I'll uh, see that in then. The simplest of fours, that's going to be the difference, I think, with the driver. Right, so Peter for a par, he's got about... 25 feet here I think that's going to be the real difference having that 30 40 yards extra off the tee makes it a heck of a lot easier going in even there with a lob wedge next to the green it was a lot more controllable than Pete trying to hit a 60 yard pitch from the heather so this to take a one to make it all square A good looking put oh, what a line. just pulled up short so Pete one over myself level we move on to the next so the 12th here at Formby ladies is a beautiful little par 3 into that amphitheatre today gorgeous tonight Peter absolutely gorgeous yeah sorry mate you've lost me for a few minutes eh? five seven on five seven it's your honor but do you mind if I hit? yeah you go away you go away I'm gonna go go eight time, mate Eight iron. So yeah, with distance. with the uh, with the smaller, older ball, are you concerned that it's not going as far? Or I'm not actually. I'm really not. I think it's it's not. I think it's more noticeable with the woods over the irons. I would say. Yeah, hundred percent. Irons seem normal. And I think with this, I mean, it's downhill as well. It's not. It's not like I'm hitting into a super head stiff on breeze. Wind. Let's see what he's got. Lovely shot. Yeah, go. That's yeah, okay. Just caught the front of the green. Wasn't a wasn't a pure pure strike, but yeah, so probably gone a little bit shorter than normal, would you say? So I think it is pin eye. Mm. It was just a, it was an okay shot that I wasn't completely delighted with. Quite frankly. So. Okay. I can't believe Matt's not showing you this. I will. Look at that. The sea. And for the first time ever on this course, I cannot believe I can hear it. This is just a dream, really. Dead lucky to be out here tonight. Right, I'm going nine iron. I think it's just a normal one of these, really. So, one club down from from where you would be. Let's see what we can do. Oh, that was a poor strike. That did sound very nice. Go. Oh. Right. Well, you're a lucky little sausage to end up here, Mr. Fryer. I am indeed. It's just, you know, channel luck, I would say. <laughs> host, host privilege. Host privilege. A little chip. I mean, I suppose the only problem is you do have to actually land this on the green. There's a pretty big 
slope to the right and it's really not worth um yeah. kind of using that so three or four feet before oh, by the way today is the day of the flying ants and yeah. matt has hit it next to a nest <laughs> like he's pretty much in a nest matt is the queen ant at the moment agitating her i know that Stuck the heel in a little bit there and it got flippy. Fryer, for you, that is pants. You are a good chipper of the ball. Yeah, it was just a little like lay down and just couldn't quite get get slidey on it. Hey ho. Hey ho. Can't do anything about it now. If I had an old ball, it would have been better. <laughs> okay, Peter down on the green. A nice iron shot. Thank you. Just shy of pin high. He's got about 30 feet to the flag. Not seeing a dramatic difference for me, I think making the rough tighter, making the courses more penal are probably going to be more of a, a fair advantage yeah, I mean, like to the said, whole field as opposed to the distance thing. Like you said, the longer, the longer plays are still going to hit longer no matter what ball is used. I think it's more, it's more just course protection. Yeah. Like, I mean, this course, it's bit of a strange example you know it is a, a ladies golf course at heart so it is built a little bit shorter than say Formby which is just next door but even Formby you know a very well established course which is hosting the English seniors amateur I think yeah. this year it's had to lengthen quite a lot yeah and this is like a classic old course and that's the fear that the best courses in the world some of them are becoming redundant for tournament golf because they're just too short and that's that's really the argument because I like like seeing Rory. Oh, it's a skill. It's a skill to hit it yeah. that far at that you know swing it at that speed and get it out the middle of the club. Yeah. Like Bryson, like swinging so hard his spine starts to. That's come the thing. Out can it? Orifices. I mean, that's can great, it last? But let's see if you can uh, hold this. Me miss and be a two shot swing anyway. Probably bigger, more dramatic scenes than the PGA Tour. Just into the glimpsing light there. A tiny bit shy. I will give you that one, sir. So your two whole stint of old ball is done. And what a weary way to finish. Oh crap, what? I didn't actually see you break it that way. Oh well. It's because I'm blind. This right. is such a good par three. It's easy to say this time of night, but it's so pretty. Oh, it's beautiful. Seagulls flying, sky blue. Me and Matt are exceptionally excited. I mean, we live in the northwest of England, so this blue sky is like a... I actually saw people like run indoors, scared of what it might mean. A bit shy as well. Might have a bit of growth on these greens. It's got a little bit woolly, hasn't it? Just a little bit shy, but hey-ho. We go, all square, both at one over par. I'm going to switch balls. Pete's now going on to the new golf ball. I'm going on to the old. Let's see what happens there. And I've probably got the two harder holes as well. With the I was say, these ball. are pretty tough, actually. Though. And stick around for that <laughs> long drive as well on the final hole. Two golf balls, two old golf balls. We're going to see who can knock it the furthest. Right, Peter, you're back onto normal golf ball. I'm going to go on to old golf ball. Let's see if there's a dramatic change. You're not hitting driver here. Nope. Why, why would I hit driver here? Like it's one of the tightest holes on the golf course. And True. Well, we... I'll match your club. What are you hitting? Uh, seven iron. No, you're not. <laughs> you got four iron out, haven't you? I have. Yes. So we're both going to tee off with a four iron, so we can see the difference. Oh, it's a beauty. Very, very go. lazy swing there. Doesn't matter. No matter, this is on the fairway on this hole. That's all I care about. So fry it, four iron, 65 on the go. As in Dunlop 65. Draw. Draw, draw, draw. 
what? That's carried nearly the same distance yeah, as yours. Yeah, 100%. I absolutely ripped it, just didn't turn. It sounded gorgeous when you hit it. What I notice a lot more with the iron shots is they're just so much flatter. I don't know, it like, doesn't spin up into the air for some reason, it just... They don't seem to, re yeah, don't seem to reach out. the peak, did it? It's kind of like yeah. a bit more a rainbow type of flight. Yeah, it's nice though, I like it, they feel great as well. I like it. Matthew has found the hay. I think this is where you, you're penalised, A, when you're in the long, <laughs> terrible grass. But now I'm giving back yards, I've already hit it a little bit shorter than you. But then when I hack out... I chop it out, yeah. yeah it's, Again, I'm going to play that a little bit further, so there's that premium on accuracy and distance now, but let's see if I can gouge this out somewhat. Pray for my wrists. <laughs> oh, it's come out. oh, it's come out really well. Sit down. Tremendously sit, well. Sit, 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 sit. Yeah, good layout. What we <laughs> forgot to underestimate is how good the Dunlop 65 is out of rough. Expert. Unbelievably. <laughs> right, so Pete's ball there. He's got 170 straight up to the flag here. What are you opting? Sort of six iron, five iron? Yeah, I'm going to go. I think the pin's at the back, so mm. I think it's going to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to try and pitch it about 170, and if it releases, it releases. Just a little six. Little six. I probably with that old ball would have been thinking five yeah see you're still stuck in oh you're in old ball thinking now i'm in yeah. new ball thinking yeah that's it big difference let's five. see what he's got oh, it's gorgeous Stop drawing. And it's massive. okay so i've just flushed a six iron about 190. Little thanks one. to <laughs> the new ball thanks to new ball thanks new ball <laughs> Right, I've got 100 yards in. One of the big things that stands out to me early on is how small that looks behind the actual ball. You see, when you're looking at it through the camera, it really doesn't look it that dramatic. It looks normal, but to, it looks almost like a ping pong ball, I would say. Yeah. Imagine a golf ball versus a ping pong ball. It doesn't, doesn't like say, doesn't look a lot on, on screen, and I'll put up now the actual diameter of new versus old. And it's not massive, but visually it's so different. I think it's the same as, it's the same as any profession. Like if you're used to seeing one size of something. Yeah, true. Like if a bricklayer worked with one type of brick all his life and all of a sudden he got something a tiny bit smaller, he'd yeah. know it like straight away. What's going on here? Yeah, I can't build a house with these. But the question is, can these that Lego bricks. hit a pit shot with the 65, which right. nestles into the pin? 100 yards. I reckon this is going to go a bit flatter than normal. Not when you hit it like that, Matt. Yeah, was that you or the ball? That looked very weird. Oh, hello. No, that was me. That was just face wide open. Just hate seagulls. I get it. Yeah. That was not good. Can't blame the ball for that one. <laughs> so Pete's off the back of the green. It's literally about here where he's pitched, which is a good... I think it was 198 on my watch to the back of the green so that's a six iron that's gone that far so i do think distance is a is an element yeah i kind of saw it there a bit more didn't yeah it? that was like a very up know, in the air like high like they seem to get higher have less spin and just go sometimes with the uh, the new ball as where old ball struggles to get up it's quite flat yeah does and then it starts to spin and stalls more than anything but he's got to up and down it. Which he's done the first part of the job exceedingly well. He doesn't even need his putter there. Very well played, sir. So, so a nice par there. Matt's just looked down here and said this will be in a photo by David Cannon. David, if you're watching. Did you actually hear me then? What? Did you hear me then, what I said? No. All oh, right, okay. Say? No, nothing bad. I just I just mentioned David Cannon and then you fired it back at me. I thought he had like super hearing or something. No. Since using that Dunlop 65, all your other senses have come alive. My spidey senses. Big foot across the green for par. Yeah, this is a bit of a beast to be fair. It's kind of got a little bit of a slope to contend with. It's going to throw it left. 
and then it comes up over a slope near the pin and then down oh, right on line great effort ball. that would have gone a little bit further and probably <laughs> dropped in <laughs> those positives. <laughs> <laughs> ah, take it away, mate. One thing I do know, they feel fantastic, these uh, old balls, and actually holding up pretty well. Holding up exceptionally. Yeah, right? I was expecting a lot of gouges and a lot of cuts, but yeah, for one hole in, not too bad. Okay, so the final hole here, we both opted for five wood to see side by side what happens. Tight little driving hole, this one going straight up here. We were playing to the red flag. Pete's one in front, currently one over par. I'm two after that hack out and poor, poor wedge. This will be an interesting one. I reckon Pete could pretty much nearly get it on here today. Bit of a weird one, isn't it? I mean, yeah, it's, it's 298, but it almost it's always plays shorter, doesn't it? And it's this five wood as well, which is a... Five wood slash three wood so i think we'll see a bit of a difference here i would imagine now with the golf ball well there's your decent one folks that is a beautiful looking golf shot very nicely done the thing is with this five wood it does fly but it does it yeah, does it, spin up yeah it goes up in the air doesn't it i think i may have heard that uh matt's five wood also gets up in the air this will be, I think if I hit a really good one here, I reckon I'm 20 behind you. No, with give the, over. Yeah, I do, honestly. I think with the woods is where we see the difference the most with this ball. Mate, you are a pure ball striker, well, so... We that, but... He's a pure ball striker, folks. It's not moving like that ball. I don't get it. You lucky, lucky boy. Yeah, so pitch back there. Your, if we just pan round. Let's say probably what? 30 from the front of the green? Yeah. That probably pitch roughly where your trolley is. Yeah, it's just kind of had a little bit of a, a little bit of a bound on. So it's probably 20 yards, maybe. Yeah, it's, it's 15. Not, it's not ridiculously big. Like, no, I wouldn't if. Round here, I've not noticed too much difference. If we went yeah. to maybe a championship course and we were playing, you know, you had to carry it a long way and stuff over water as well, particularly. Yeah. I think we would start to see some differences then. But nevertheless, I need to up and down this to make birdie, Pete to make par to tie the challenge and prove that playing with a Dunlop 65 is the future. <laughs> I think we've already pro I think we've already proven past. that. I think we've already proven it. Yeah. 58. Oh, that was horrible. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. So just shy of the green. Do remember folks as well, we're going on to the 18th in a moment where we're going to be hitting two old golf balls. I'm saying if we can get one over 300. That is, is quite some feat with an old golf ball. So, yeah. Probably this man here will do it, but I'm sneaky. I am sneaky. They call me sneaky. sneaky Matt. Anyway, little pitching now for Peter to. I've got him. I've got him, folks. Little Pitch. pitching. <laughs> <laughs> ah. What are you playing it with? Uh, Sixty degree. Just a nice shallow impact. Just. Do you see it spit like stopping quickly? I'm kind of thinking, yeah, pretty much. Within skid, the first skid, bounce. stop. No, That's one thing I think you didn't learn uh, looking back on old footage as well. You never saw that shot from this far in. It was always running it really. Yeah, yeah. So modern clubs, modern ball ability to be more aggressive around the greens as well. It's so bad. It's awful. Stop What's pretty happened? quickly. Bit of a, a high block there with a 60. That was disgusting. <laughs> oh, none of the shots that we've that, hit poorly can be blamed on the ball. All that, human error. That was so bad. Fryer probably going to be coming in with a lob wedge as well. I 
Looks like he's made a much better job of that. Oof. Oh, ran on a little bit. It, it looked like he was going to stop and then just carried on a bit. Say that with, with, if I would have played that with a new ball, that definitely would have bit up. Yeah. Because there was no, just slid it under loads of ball on the face, but it just felt like it sort of flopped so, off a little bit more. I just think it's a bit weird how, I don't think they are spinning more, like the, the old ball. It doesn't feel like it feels Not from softer. around the greens, no. I think with a, a longer club, this feel like they stall a little bit more. Yeah. It would have been an interesting one if we were playing in real wind today. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we would have really seen a huge difference. But anyway, Pete, he can roll this in. He would definitely tie it up. It. Not hit it. Tap it in, sir. Like there, real ease for yourself, wasn't it? Obviously, despite me hitting it into the rough. So, Fryer has this for an up and down. I think I might just have lost a bit. Since I like the Dunlop 65 less my presence, I definitely feel a, a lack of energy somewhat. I think maybe like it's Samson so cutting his hair. Isn't it? You are? so good to play with something different yeah it's it like a real novelty energizes the mind and body the spirit and can matt now crush my spirit <gasps> no another bogey instead his it's is back demolished. to back bogeys pete you beat me by two there it's not the ball for you mate no it's not but Let's go on to the 18th and see if we can get one over 300 yards. Waka waka. This is probably the best bit about the uh, the old golf balls. <laughs> I mean, this, this should come back in an eco-friendly type of way because this is wrapped in plastic, but look at this. Just You get to open up a golf ball like it's a sweet. Look at that. Oh. That is a thing of beauty. How nice is that? Soon to be lost on the 18th, <laughs> yeah. we ladies. If you find a load of them, please do return them. Right, so we're going to go alternate drive. Longest drive wins. I'm saying we need to get one over 300 yards, Peter. You're the man okay. hitting the ball first. Well. Hmm. We've got a nice wide open fairway up here, going back to the two lovely looking clubhouses. A fairway full of seagulls. Pick the farthest one Don't and uh, fly it over it. Don't kill a seagull, come on. Right then. Good swing, come on. Yeah, come on. Last one. Every little bit of energy you've got. You've got to hit one more after it as well. Oh really? Yes. Did not know that. Okay. 50% of the energy you've got left. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Oh, it's over the bunker. That is. Big boy. Big boy hit. Big boy hit. Do we need right like there. a normal golf ball now? No, we're going to hit two old ones. Oh, we're going to hit two old ones? Yeah. Oh, that's smoked as well. I may have just missed that on the zoom. I might have zoomed at the wrong bunker, but I think I got the right one. Well, that's, that's me. Two massive hits there, to be fair. Right. Is, like you say, it's just a great, it's like, it's like Christmas all Whoa, over again. Slower, 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 slower. Oh, slower. Oh, I think it means something to you. Look at that. Mm. That is so good. <sighs> Beautiful. Please stop it, man. Oh, shivers down my spine. Right. Although that may be heat stroke. Most, most, <laughs> quite a lot of potential on that. Hmm, cowabunga. That smoked as well. That was good. That got a nice bounce as well. Mm. Got a little shooter. A little shooter. Tell you what, the flight for me. Flight's great. It's exactly what I'm looking for. The from flight a modern is great. Day golf ball. I've got, I've got double bubble here, Pete. Uh -huh. oh, 
Bow, bow, bow. It's I, won't, just, I won't try and do the voice. <laughs> it's just a thing of beauty. It smells strange, that is an odd. odd yeah, it, it does have a bit of a whiff. Yeah. Right, I'm not going to lie. They are 45 years old. I think if the, you were 45 years old and been wrapped in plastic, you might whiff a little. Smells of mothballs. Yeah. Right, come on. <laughs> that was a fair way to find it. If you'd been wrapped in plastic for 45 years, you'd smell as well. well there's the title to the video. Big one. Come on. Seems a little bit more off the top, that one. It's gone. Oh, unlucky. Pitched on top of it. Pitched on top of it, yeah. I'll tell you what, I've murdered those as well. That first one looks that was That was brilliant. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching. A real pleasure to play with those and definitely a pleasure to play not only with Pete, but down here at the gorgeous Formby ladies. Hit subscribe on both channels. We'll go and find out how far they are. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video. So Peter Finch takes it with a 290 yard drive with the old golf oh, ball. You can just see mine there about five yards well, behind. Beautiful little uh, Three <laughs> golf balls in the fairway. My other one had just caught the face of the bunker. 290 old ball. Who says they don't go that far? Well,